I want a bit of I want to spread it out. I want to spread it out. I want to, I want I want lots of good topics and lots of things to talk about. Thanks to everyone who's subscribing. So let's talk about Jack Grealish to Manchester City. So I was told this three, four weeks ago, whenever I did the video, it, the Euros were still on, and I said that I'd been told that Grealish to Man City is basically a done deal. Now, people are like, well, how can it be a done deal? He's staying at Villa. Look, I love Villa. Villa is my local Premier League club. I've been there many times. I know a lot of Villa fans. I like the club. I've got nothing against the club. And I think that is Jack Grealish going to Man City 100%? I, I, I never go 100%, but I think it's over 90% that he's going to go to Manchester City. This has been worked on for a very long time. That, hence, I got told about it three or four weeks ago that you know you don't break the British transfer record over two days. You don't just go, Aston Villa, there's 100 million quid. You're talking to Grealish, you're talking to his agents, you're talking to Villa. And this is probably why it got leaked three or four weeks ago that the deal was basically done. And now he's, he's just coming back from holiday. Man City are a week away from the Community Shield game and it's coming out. It's a huge amount of money. It's a, it's a massive thing. We're going to talk about the Super League in a minute, actually. But it's a massive thing Man City are doing because Manchester City don't normally do this. They don't normally spend more than 60, 60, 000, uh, 60 million on a player. They're going to smash the British transfer record. And I think there's a bigger picture there because if they did go and get Harry Kane, and we'll talk about the striker situations for Chelsea and Man City in a moment, but if they did go and get Harry Kane, they are going to be spending in excess of £200 million on two players, which a year ago they couldn't have done, and two years ago they couldn't have done. And I think this is down, and look, there's better minds who care more about this than me. I think this is down to the collapse of the um, of financial fair play. I think financial fair play is just done and dusted. It's absolutely gone. And I think, yeah, as uh, as Cam Robbins just said there, financial fair play in the mud. So that is an, that is an interesting aspect because it's probably not being discussed enough. Um, if you're a United fan or an Arsenal fan or, or a Chelsea, well, not even a Chelsea, not a Chelsea fan, a Liverpool fan, most clubs really, not only are you competing against the best squad in the Premier League, you look at their bench, it's ridiculous. The best manager in the league. But you're also competing against what you've got and nobody else has got. United actually couldn't do what Man City are trying to do, get Kane and, and Grealish. We have got money, but not that level. Chelsea probably can. Arsenal, no. Liverpool, no. And the rest of the Premier League, no, not really. So not only have they got the best manager in the world, but they've also got the best squad in the world. And now they've got the biggest fund in the world. Realistically, they, 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 they should really be dominating football for a very long time. And our only hope really is Chelsea, because I just don't think many other clubs can deal with them if it's successful. Um, should Grealish, is Grealish worth £100 million? That was a question. The Great Touche, thanks for subscribing with Prime. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. So is Grealish worth 150 mil, 100 million quid? Um, I'm on the fence with this. Well, I'm not going to sit on the fence. Do you think Grealish is worth 100 million pounds? I think that he almost is. I think he's 90 million. I think 90 million is his, is his fee. I always thought 90 million. He's 25. He's without doubt one of the most exciting players in the Premier League and therefore he's got to be one of the most exciting players across Europe because the Premier League is the best league in the world. He is doing it consistently in a team that's very focused around him and what I mean by that is if I'm the manager of Burnley, if I'm Sean Dyche, I'm telling, I'm telling Tarkovsky, kick Grealish into touch. If you deal with Grealish, it's over, right? If you play Aston Villa, you know that Grealish is the man, right? And you know if you swamp Grealish, they're in trouble. A little bit like for years, if you swamp Ronaldo and Messi, that you know you, you cut off their, their, their not their balls, but their hardest, uh, their, their most um, influential outlets. I think Jack Grealish is sensational because everybody knows he's the best player at Villa, and he still delivers. Even though the manager of the opposition and the player of the opposition know he's the danger man, they don't keep him quiet. That, to me, shows you the quality of Jack Grealish. To be able to do it. I mean, look, if you drop Mason Mount in a Villa team, could he do as well as Grealish? If you drop Foden into the Villa team, could he do as well as Grealish? Sterling in a Villa team. Rashford in a Villa team. Sancho in a Villa team. Now, I'm not saying none of them can. I'm asking the question. How, of all those players, how many of them could go and play for Villa next year and have the season that Grealish has had the last two? So Grealish has got pedigree. 
he's got character, he's got leadership. Because, you you know, he gets kicked all over the place. I think he's a £90 million player. I do. And therefore, £100 million is only 10 away. And also, also, let's just remember, Ben White's just gone for 50. If you're Villa, you can't say, I oh, will take 70 when Ben White's just gone for 50. And I've got nothing against Ben White. And we'll talk about Arsenal a little bit. But Ben White is a Brighton centre-back who doesn't even start for England and he's going for £50 million at 23. You cannot then say that Villa are wrong to want a 25-year-old attacker, one of the best attackers in the league, Jack Grealish, for £100 million. So it makes sense to me. It does make sense to me that Grealish is going for £100 million. Um, and look, if it wasn't Man City, I'd be very excited for him. And I'd, and I'd say what a great move it is because I think he's um, he's, he's a very good player. Um, there's a poll you can get involved is, in as well. Jack Grealish worth, um, and then you can vote. Uh, 73% have gone with 70 to 90 million, which is, uh, which is where I would vote as well. And I will have a vote on that as well. So thanks very much for the vote there, whoever set that up. In fact, we've got two, I think. Have we got two? Happening now. Curly Whirly, there we go. Okay, so that's Jack Grealish. He's obviously going to go. Well, the, the latest on Grealish is that he's got a choice. He can either go to Man City or he can stay at Villa. And again, I would we're going to be very interactive in this chat. If you're Jack Grealish, right, childhood Villa fan, you know, live in the area, love Aston Villa, love that club. Uh, you're 25. Man City want to make you the best paid, best you know, most expensive player in in Premier in, in British football history. Um, and join the champions who got to the Champions League final or stay at Villa. People can talk about loyalty. Forget about that. Forget about that. I've spoke to a few Villa fans over the week and they've got, they've said, look, we, we'd love him to stay, but you can't expect him to stay in those circumstances. It's not like he's going to, you know, imagine Newcastle had been taken over, right, by the Saudis and they'd said, Grealish, we want you for 100 million. That situation, I would go... Look, Newcastle might be a good team in three or four years because look at look. Just because you're owned by a billionaire doesn't mean you're winning the league the next year. Look at Man City. Look at Chelsea. They didn't do it straight away. So if Grealish was going to billionaire Newcastle-owned football club and leaving Villa behind, that's different because that's really about project money. Man City, yeah, it's about money. Of course it is, but. It's also about they are the champions of England. They did get to a Champions League final. It's it, it, it's money and it's football. I don't think he can turn that down. I don't think he can. I would be stunned if he stayed at Aston Villa. Because, and I also know he's, he's not going to stay at Aston Villa, is he? But look, it, hypothetically, no. And we can all talk about loyalty, but his loyalty has been getting Villa promoted and you know keeping them in the Premier League and then making them a very good team last year. They're never going to win the league, Villa. They're never going to get in the Champions League, Villa. And Grealish belongs in the Champions League. He's got to play in the Champions League. I want to see Jack Grealish, one of the best players in Europe. And Villa fans proud that he's one of your players. And I think a lot of Villa fans will be happy with that. Um, they'll be sad, but I think they'll also be very proud. And I think they'll understand what he's doing. And on top of that, I want to see Grealish tearing it up in Europe as the most expensive British player in history basically with a big up yours to grit Southgate because this is you know Grealish should have been starting but look, I'm not going back to the Euros I'm not going back to the Euros Grealish is better than City says Ace RMB Grealish wasn't loyal to Ireland so I don't think he'll stay at Villa says Sakari well he loves Villa what's he gonna have to show for a career if he stays at Villa he should win league titles and FA Cups at City says user name if I was Villa I would say go it's the same as Ronaldo we didn't want him to leave but he had to so he could further his career says Daniel I'd stay 100%. People will never remember or care about what City wins, says Ice Mooney. Well, I, I think it's also a very clever signing by Man City as well, because I think Manchester City, you know, they buy De Bruyne, they buy Sterling, they buy Aguero, they buy Ruben Diaz, and these are players that Pep is buying to win t titles. But do they buy personalities? Do they buy, I suppose I'd call them the glamour boys, the players that, not only are good on the pitch, but um, you know, are massively popular off the pitch. The Paul Pogba's, Sancho's going to be like that. Marcus Rashford's like that. Jesse Lingard was like that. Um, yeah, even Bruno to a certain extent is like that. So you know, Cavani only been there a year. These players that just for different reasons are ca capture the public's imagination. Man City have had a real problem with that over the last decade. They buy players, but nobody, the press, the fans, just don't appreciate that. They're not 
Man City are a very, very powerful team and they're not going to go anywhere, but they've not, they've not been able to bridge the Liverpool, United, Arsenal, Chelsea gap of being, you know, liked by the press, liked and, 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 and universally, globally popular. Um, I think a lot of, I think there are a lot of people who support Man City now because they win things, but I don't think there's a lot of people who support Man City because they're interesting or they're vibrant. And, you know, United, United, We've not done anything for nearly ten years, really, but we've still re retained that glamour, and you know, Pogba's still massively, you know, massively popular. And I think Grealish is the sort of player that will give Man City that bit of flair. They've got loads of flair on the pitch, but flair off the pitch as well.